Hello! Uh, I'm going to say Merry Christmas because I'm recording this on Christmas Eve, 24th. Um, so, yes, Merry Christmas. But likely I'll, um, I'm going to upload it today and then I've got two to film today. But I've already filmed another one. So basically because I've already put the um, 24th day advent video up, I might spread the next two videos out. Um, and I haven't decided when I'm going to make this one live tomorrow, which will be Christmas Day, which is probably going to be a dead zone for new videos anyway. <coughs> or leave it on Boxing Day and uh, hope you'll find it and enjoy it then. So either Merry Christmas or I hope you had a Merry Christmas and either way have a happy and prosperous new year. And also hit like, share, subscribe and, and comment and all this other fun stuff that you're supposed to say at the beginning of the video that I always say at the end of the video and I never know if it makes a difference. So anyway, enough of the uh, pre-waffle, let's talk wizardry. Now I have to say, um, credit to wizardry after the year because they did say they wanted to get their monthly boxes out before Christmas and they did. They actually did it right this morning, Christmas Eve, so um, fair play. Um, they, I'm not expecting like Christmas Eve stuff items in here because they do, um, they, send, they make the November boxes their festive ones because they're definitely going to arrive before Christmas. But, um, you know, maybe we'll get something sparkly in here and something fun. Well, she might get something sparkly because we've still got the charm. Um, we'll find out today if they actually are going to put two charms in to make up for the top one they missed or it's just going to be a lemon charm bracelet. So that'd be interesting. Um, but yeah, other than that, there's going to be a t-shirt, there's going to be a charm, some kind of art. Beyond that, I have no idea. So let's have a look. Oh, there's going to be worm dudes. There's always worm dudes. So let's have a quick look. It's slightly bashed, but I'm, I'm confident that everything in it should be pretty much intact. Because they do package things very well. So we have our worm dudes. They're going to go everywhere. We have a very interesting looking t-shirt. I'm not normally a fan of busy designs, but um, I quite like this one. This, I know what this is. This is Dumbledore's office. Um, I'm going to open it all the way out because, but yeah, I um, I saw this on the tour, and it it does kind of look like that the way they they put it together. Um, you can see all the detailing and everything in it. That's that's kind of crazy. That's a lot on a t-shirt. Uh, like I said, I'm not always a big fan of busy designs, but obviously this is specifically a room that has a lot of detail and they've done a lot of good job on that. So, well done to the artist who put that together. Um, yes, might as well. So, as I say about it being well packaged, this one's got bubble wrap. So let me just uh, grab my handy rainbow knife. So how have you been anyway? Have you been enjoying Christmas? Is this the first one of my videos you've seen? Is this one of many videos you've seen? How, if you are new here, sorry, let me point my, if you are new here, how did you find me? Um, was it through recommendation? Was it like, did I just turn up on your sidebar one day? I'm, I'm genuinely curious because I don't, I, I don't know how people find me. Um, ooh, ooh, I know what this is. I hope it works because that'll be amazing if it's working. Um, yeah, so, just how, how did you discover? All right, let's open up and okay. Oh, 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 okay, okay. That is loose. That is loose, which means I think unless that's bunged up somehow. It is the um, the hourglass. It's a uh, Slughorn's hourglass. Oh yes, no, the sand does go through. Hang on. Oh, actually, it looks. It's very green on the screen, but it's a kind of a. It is green, but the, the I don't know the colours doing thing, but yes. Oh, it actually pours through. Oh, that is so cool. I might time it later to see how long it actually is. But I, I okay. One, I've always I've, I love this design. It's an amazing design. It's one of the few things added to the film that I really enjoyed. And not that I didn't enjoy the films, it's just obviously they add a lot of stuff. They said, why did they put that in? But they take that out. But this as an item, as a prop. I thought, always thought it was an awesome design and the fact that A have made it and B it is glass and metal but also it 
works. It is an actual little um, sand timer. So that's actually very, very cool. They actually took the effort to to make it a working a working timer. So um, yeah, I'll, um, maybe the cheat sheet will tell me how long it is. If not, I'll, uh, I'll run an experiment later and time it. Nextly, it looks like we have another chest piece. Is that the full set now? Is that the full um? How many is pieces is it? Got the king, queen, the rook. I know two rooks. Oh, a bishop, knights, pawns. Is it like six individual characters, or is this, or am I missing one? Yeah. King, Queen, Castle, Bishop, Knight, Horsey, and Pawn. Unless I'm missing one, I think that is that should be it then. So, um, there we are. We have... I'm not sure if that's the King or Queen, but we have a, a very regal-looking chess piece here. Um, so, uh, yeah, very, very nice. And like I said, I think we have the full set of basic characters now from the chess set. Uh, might be the queen, it's got a slightly smaller crown, I don't know. It's still going. It's quite a good timer on it. So yeah, we have we have a chess piece. And then again hopefully the box will tell the cheat sheet if it's in here will tell me which one it is. Um next we have something with lemons on it. So I'm guessing some kind of show at lemon lemon drop product. Is it not for not suitable for children under three years due to small parts which can be swallowed? So they're warning against swallowing. I'm guessing it's not an actual edible product. Oh, 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 cool. Okay, so if you remember in the um, Toil and Trouble box, we had a little uh, A board that had um, the uh, pumpkin pasties. I said, I'd be kind of cool if we did a whole series of these for various different shops and products. This is Sherman Lemon's one. We got another A-board, so oh, if this is a collection you guys are going to carry on with, I am totally on board. Uh, Bewitching Bursts of Citrus. Although, now I'm sort of concerned about the um, small parts which a child could swallow, because I guess yeah, the hinge, but it's pretty well made, so... Um, you know, I'm not sure how you get it. Oh, it's just finished, there you go. Um, but yeah, no, that's really cool. So I'm, I'm totally on board for a whole set of A-boards. Okay, so that's that. Can't wait to see Susie's reaction to this. Um, next we have a wand. Is there a card separate in there? Okay, um, there is there is a card thing, so let's look at the, um, the wand itself and then read the card. Ooh, spirally. Yep, that way. Oh, okay, um... Some kind of rubyish design thing, but then we've got this long spiry. Oh, I didn't notice the end. Long spiry ribbon with like a crystal coming out the end. That is a very cool design. I think it must be one of the um, fan contributor, like community designed ones, because I'm not recognizing it from any of the characters. But I actually quite like the community drawn ones because it's like, hey, you know, we we can come up with our own designs and have cool ideas and. You get stuff like this. Let's see what the card says. Um, regalia wand. 13... Yeah, 13 and a three quarter inch. A core ruby dust. And then it's ebony. It's a regalia wand. So I guess that's supposed to represent the ruby heart. And then like, it comes out with crystal on the end. It's very, very cool. I really, really like this. It's a very pretty design. Um, so yeah, that's the wand. Alright, we... Oh! I was going to say, it doesn't look like there's a cheat sheet, so they can't quite dodge you for that again. We have a pin badge that is slightly confusing, because it doesn't look like it's specifically... Um, Ravenclaw or something else. I don't know if we're going to have house items in it. Um, there's some very shiny writing, which I think is the same on either side, but I think it might just be trying to be kind of like 
spooky do symbols. Um, this is Bow Batten. No, not Bow Batten. No, Durmstrang. There they are. There is writing, which I'm assuming is the uh, Toujours Pur. We've got the three little raveny creatures. What looks like a skull design on top. And then the hand holding the wand. Um, so is this Durmstrang? Is going over the tribal thing? I, I would. I, I don't know. It looks, and maybe this is just me being sort of throwing a stereotype on it, but I would have thought Bow Batten's maybe not flowery, but it looks quite strong and aggressive. That Bow Batten maybe would be like. It looks more Durmstrang than Bow Batten, you know. But uh, it's got a double pin on the back, so it's like um, it's going to be secure. Like I said, it doesn't look like there's a cheat sheet in here, so I'm not be able to say for definite what is and isn't. Uh, we have the card, which we must never win. In fact, I've got a whole collection that I haven't cashed in yet. Oh, we got uh, we have um, best girl and best princess, um, Luna. Uh, just just says Luna love good in very. Kind of very nineties sort of retro style, like yay, like what you find in um like big or um oh, I'm showing my age now. <sighs> yeah, top of the pot for all those magazines, but yeah, it's very cool. I like it. I do like it. Um, but yeah, it's an actual um. <sighs> I keep forgetting her name, but it's an actual photo of Luna as played by Ivana Lynch. If it, if, if we've got more syllables than that, but yeah. Very, very cool, but it does look very um pop magazine cut out pin up kind of style as opposed to being um you know kind of more wizardy world. I don't know, I like it, I do like it, but that's that's the aesthetic I'm getting is like pin up magazine, your know, teen teen zine thing. Um and it looks like going through all my worm dudes. Just the one charm, which is the good thing. Oh, it looks like... Oh, it's a winged key! And that's my smoke alarm. Don't worry, it's um, it's almost always a false alarm. But I will wrap up quickly. So, um... Actually, if those of you who are concerned, one, it almost always turns out to be a false alarm, and two, the advice we get on the sheet that we've handed out is that unless you're in immediate danger, don't worry, don't leave, leave the building. Um, so yeah, it's a little key, little winged key. Um, the back is sort of more plain, so I guess that's like the, the part you go against your wrist. And then, um, yeah, just a little tiny winged key. I don't know if that'll help the focusing or not. Probably not because it's light bouncing off of it. But yeah, I like that. Uh, best item. I really, really like the wand. One is very pretty. I like the fact we're getting more of these, and that possibly that could um, signify a whole. Run. I don't know if two isn't necessarily a run, but it's, if it's the start of a run, then I'm definitely down for it. But I'm gonna have to go with this as best item, just because it's the sort of thing that I've always thought would be neat to have, and now I do. <laughs> and I love the fact that it is actually running sand. It's not just. You know, like, they could have just moulded some sand in and made it look like it was... I guess that would probably be more effort. But I, either way, regardless of effort or not, I I appreciate the fact that it is proper running sand in there. What I don't appreciate is the fact we still haven't got a cheat sheet. Now, last month you did a cheat sheet that was great and you had this whole theme going on with the um, like newspaper articles and I thought it was very fun. And so I don't know if my one's missing or if you just forgot to make them again. I know there's a lot going on this year. I'm not having a go at that. I'm just like, but you had it last month and then we haven't. So is it just me or is there, there's something else going on? If there's something else going on, that's fine. I, I can appreciate that. But if it's me, then dude, what? What do I do? But that is getting loud. Um, so yeah. So <laughs> the job shot is, I don't know, I still don't know what piece this is. I think it's the queen. The collar's quite high and looks kind of, you know, well, I say regal, the king and queen will both be regal, but... Um, yeah, I think that's a fire truck. Um, that's a good thing, actually. We, uh, 
from where I live, you can actually see the fire station, you can sort of crane your head a little bit. Um, it's right over the road, so we usually get rapid response as well. Um, but yeah, uh, best item is the um, is the Slughorn Hourglass thing. Um, most confusing is just this pin badge, just because I'm not sure what school it's supposed to represent. It's not a house badge, it's definitely a school badge. I'm going with Durmstrang. It's still a good item, it's just if there was a cheat sheet, then I would have had the answers there. And I'm going to watch Susie's video and maybe that she's got the cheat sheet, so she'll tell me. Um, but yeah, no, this is a really good box. I'm really happy with it. Um, no hints as to what next year's thing is going to be, because obviously this year we've got the charm bracelets, the year before we had the um, recipe cards, and the year, I think we had another year we had a, a, an ongoing theme. Um, so yeah, um, interesting to see if they do another ongoing theme through the year. Um, but meanwhile, I'm going to sign off because that is getting loud and annoying. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'll be safe. You know, if this video gets uploaded safely, you know I'm good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. By the time you're watching this video, it, the drama will definitely be over. I'll even leave a note in the thing to tell you. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, if you have been, thanks for watching. I appreciate you, especially you coming to the end of the, you know, stay to the end of the video where it's all waffly and noisy and slightly panicked. I'm fine. I'll be fine. It's okay. Um, but yeah, you are one of the awesome people. I appreciate you. Feel free to leave a comments, say hi, say get out of there, do whatever you wanna. Um, if you know what chess piece this is, did I miss a chess piece? I is there a character that I missed that I forgot to list on the thing? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you've had a great Christmas, holiday, you know, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is you're celebrating. I hope you're having a safe, peaceful, wonderful one with as many family members as you get to spend it with and have a safe and prosperous happy new year all right i've been michelle you've been listening and i will see you next time bye